Okay. A series is absolutely convergent if the series made by absolute value of the original series converge. Each single term we take the absolute value. Okay. So that means we are only taking the magnitude of each term. Okay. If that series is convergent, we call it absolute we call the original sequence absolutely convergent. Okay, there are series which are convergent but they are not ad absolutely convergent. In other words, series with absolute value diverge. Okay. For example, you can see look at this series. If for this one we can easily apply the alt alternating series test and conclude that this is convergent. So this original series converge, but if we look at the series made out of absolute value of of this one that one diverges okay because this is the harmonic series now so this is divergent so the original series is convergent but the one made out of absolute values is divergent so this is example of a conditionally convergent series okay series of real numbers must converge if the related absolute value series convergent okay so the absolute value convergent test states that if the series made of absolute values convergent then the original series should converge okay so we saw example where this guy is convergent while this is not no absolute value so this is saying reverse is not possible that means if absolute value series convergent original must one or must also convert okay so the thing is if we had lot of uh, tests that were for the positive series no positive series of positive numbers now positive or non-zero numbers now sorry non-negative numbers now with this one we might get a series that have some negative terms and then we cannot apply the, apply the those convergence tests but we can apply those for the series of absolute made out of absolute values of the original one so so that if that convergence we can get conclude that original one also converges okay so let's okay let's look at example so let's look at this series okay okay so this sign k take both positive and negative values okay so the series cannot be analyzing try to only positive series so that means we cannot tap apply those tests for this one like ratio sets or root test okay but also this is not strictly alternating that means when it become negative it stays in negative for some time no it's not like term to term alternating like the alternating series so we cannot apply the alternating series for this one also okay it also don't work okay B but if i look at the terms it's time came to use the ratio test because this 2k and factorial k okay but we cannot use it directly because this one contains negative terms so we can turn to series made of absolute values of this guy no so that series i will label by a k okay i will label it by a k so this is the taking the absolute value okay. now i can go for term term i can pull out all the positive terms out of the absolute value this sign k contains absolute sign here no so i can pull him out too and then absolute value only get restricted to this one now i can cancel out those two guys no because they can both have absolute value no sign problems okay so i get this series okay for sure we can use ratio test to see okay so we we'll use the ratio test and see whether it will work okay it's very tempting to use that here so we take the limit k is going to infinity a k plus 4 a k no 
this is the formula for ratio effect so I applied the for a k k plus 1 and k flip and multiply okay so now we can cancel out terms this k plus 1 absolute contains this k is get eaten and then two k's get eaten by the top one so we get 2 over k plus 1 okay when I send to k to infinity this guy goes to 0 no now from the ratio test this series with a k convert you know this one is the absolute value series now because this absolute value series convert from the absolute value series test original one also convert okay 